Hello, this is Sammy with bridgingapps.org and in this video we're going to cover how to do a simple search using the Insignio search tool. I am on, if you come to our website and you go to the app search page, uh, it, you'll be on the find applications page and you're going to see that it has two columns. So this is our search page. And on the right hand and left hand column we have the search criteria. On the right hand column we have the search results. We display 10 apps at a time and then as many pages uh, as there are apps for their, uh, in the search. So um, that's how we're displaying the results. Now behind the scenes we actually are searching two different databases. We have the Bridging Apps database which is a database of Android applications and of all of our professional reviews for each of both the Android applications and the iTunes applications. And in real time, we're searching the iTunes store. So um, you're going to get results it, when it changes in the store. It'll change in our search in our search results. So that's really pretty cool. Um, we also connect up to all of the different iTunes stores. So you can get results if you connect to the Australian store or the Egyptian store or the French store, you can get your results back in how whatever store, whatever that store's results are. And you can come down here and change. The default store is the US store. Once you change this once, it'll it'll stay uh, uh, if you're logged in, it'll stay whatever your store is. So I'm going to stay with the default US store to conduct a search. So let's do a basic I want to do a basic keyword search. So I want to search the database, or both databases, for the word monkey and see what we get. So I've typed in the word monkey as a search result, and I get a list of monkey apps with monkey monkeys in them. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm searching again the, the iTunes Live iTunes Store, and, and I can look at, I can stack rank them based on iTunes results, um, or I can stack rank them based on user feedback, uh, bridging app user feedback, which is very cool. So if you this is, so our special needs users give us feedback about the apps, and you can stack rank based on that feedback. So that's pretty cool. The next thing, so the next thing I want to do is let's clear this search out. Um, let's say I want to do a search for apps based on broad skill range. So uh, let's say my special needs user has an auditory skill range of three to let's say six and a cognitive range of three till about also six. And let's say and, and so I'm going to be, I want apps that are both within the auditory range of three to six and the cognitive range of three to six. Uh, and again, this can be based on actual user's age or based on their um, uh, typical rate, age range. So um, I'm going to do my search, and now I get back all apps in the database that are within the same cognitive ranges. And this is pretty cool because I get both of them. Now let's say I want to. Let's say I'm only searching for Android device apps. So I'm going to open up mobile devices. I'm going to come down here and I want to narrow my search to Android tablet devices. So I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to hit search again. Now this only gives me apps that are both Android and that are only Android and that meet my, my um, cognitive and auditory ranges. Let's go back and I want to open this up and do Android and or now I want to just do iPad. So I'm going to switch those and now I can do iPad and it'll give me all of the ones that are iPad related. Now let's say I want to look at some embedded skills. I want to come down here and I want to um, let's do finger isolation and follow one two step command. So I'm going to save those and then conduct my search. And now I'm going to get all apps that are meeting all of those criteria. Now I'm going to show you where an app would meet would not meet the criteria. So I'm going to come down here and select Android, just so you can sh I can show you search results that would show you both meeting the criteria and not meeting the criteria. So here, Tic Tac Phonics or Phonics Tic Tac Toe meets all of my criteria except for the criteria that it's not Android uh, on the Android tablet. And you can see down here, uh, Sprout Goodnight meets all of my criteria. It's an Android and an iPad app, but it does not allow me to do the skills of following one and uh, one and two step commands. So this allows you, this tool allows you to narrow your results um, uh, down to uh, by combining all the skills, age ranges, um, 
independent assistive uh, iTunes categories. It really allows you to uh, get down to exactly what you're looking for uh, in an app. And then, last but not least, you can always save the search later and run it at a later date and to see if those apps change. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, that's how to conduct a basic search. This is a very, very powerful tool, as you can see. Um, and if you have any questions, please contact us, and um, we'd love to help you uh, and improve the tool. Thank you.